Hi, babies. Good morning, Annabelle. You get it? Good morning, Annie. Hi, Autumn. Hey, Angus. Hi, Ray. Hi, Apple. Greasy Beer. Hucky. Hey, Velvy. Good girl. Hi, sweetie. Get your meds. So it's morning time and everybody just got a cherry tomato. Everybody but pecan. As she can't have those. So then I get her meds ready. So she gets two different type of tummy meds to keep her stomach moving. Uh, Cisapride and metoclopramide. And we also do some gas drops. So Pecan gets this every morning and night. The gas drops we use are Oval. That's the brand name. It's uh, Simethicone. And it tastes like mint. There you go. You're eating out of a dish there, Apple. Good girl. Good job. So I have two more meds that we have right at the moment. <clears throat> one's uh, for apple and one's for raisin. Hey, Good girl. Pecan, don't you be bugging her. Pecan. You know, you're not allowed. Let her finish her stuff. You ready, Ray Ray? You already had yours, sweetie. We're waiting for Ray. Here, Ray Ray. Big girl. Alright, so that's uh, medications done. Now we get to start tidying up. So I've been wearing gloves to do all the tidying up. Because my hands were really dry from just winter, and if they got any cracks in them, the hay just inflamed my hands. Basically like uh, contact dermatitis. So, we are wearing gloves. I usually start with the herd. It just seems like the biggest job, so I just like to get it out of the way. We're going to flip this part to a fresh side. I like to sleep under here a bunch. So I like doing a folded over liner because then it's really squishy. Nice and comfy for them. Hey Hucky, what are you doing? So some of my liners, uh, the newest ones I have, have a different um, stitch pattern. So they're from Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, Darwin's Critter Creations, and um, Cindy's Cozy Co. that I had new stitch patterns done and I like them way better than the old way I used to have them done. Because as you can see this stuff gets all bunched up and it's not very smooth. But I have some over there that I can show you that are just way better for sweeping up. But 
because they have more of an internal stitch pattern that keeps everything super flat. So some of these are just kind of time consuming to work around all these lumps and bumps to get stuff cleared off. And it's probably nicer for the pigs too, for walking over smooth liners versus lumpy ones, especially for any seniors. Hey guys. So these are little um, utility, what do they call them? Utility shelves, I think. They were at Walmart. They're really nice and they were really cheap and the pigs do like hiding under them, makes them feel safe. So anywhere that I put hay, I always have smaller liners underneath so that I can change that if it gets, you know, a little bit dirty or a bit wet. So usually the spots under their hay, I change once a day. So like I'm not changing them this morning, but I'll change. It's always funny, like stuff that I'm trying to clean, they have to come over and start eating it. Like it's something brand new to do. put you some new stuff under here. Excuse me. There. Everybody can go over there. still can. So everybody in the herd has been doing really well. Reintroductions went awesome. Everybody's calmed down and settled in, which is great. I'm gonna have to rinse that out because Apple ate her tomato from the pellet dish. I had some questions about the windows, whether we have them open or not, or what have you. In the winter, right at the moment, if it is just a dark, gloomy, gray sky outside, I don't, generally speaking, opening open those right now, because all it does is make this room lose heat quick, and then that heater already has enough of a time keeping up to keep this room warm. So, well, as soon as it's um, sunnier out and a little nicer, then those windows will be back to being open. Because they're open all spring, summer, and fall. It's just in winter. If it's not even going to brighten up the room at all, then it doesn't seem worth losing heat and having to use more energy to keep this room warm, if that makes sense to you guys. Because in Canada, when it's winter, the skies are often just gray and gloomy. Kind of sucks, really. everybody. One of my favorite things about guinea pigs is how curious they are. 
So they just have to see what you're doing. Even the nervous pigs just can't help themselves. They want to know what you're up to, which I think is adorable. But curious guinea pigs is always a sign of healthy guinea pigs. Because as you know, if you've ever had a guinea pig who's not feeling well, they don't care what's happening on around them, which is not normal. But if they're curious and out and about and checking things out, you know, they're doing well. So usually I go and replace hay as I go along. It gives the pig something to do while they wait because after this is when I get veggies. So I just make sure they have enough hay to keep them settled while I'm tidying up the other sections. Okay, so we're on to Annabelle's cage. Why, hello. You're always so tiny. She's such a petite little piggy. I kind of hope that after she's spayed, she puts on a bit of weight. Because then maybe she won't be so doing all that stress whining and walking around. tiny cutie. How are you doing? You're so cute. She just looks like a cross between a guinea pig and a rat and a mouse. With your little face and bug eyes. Hi Annie, how are you? So Annabelle almost just exclusively likes to eat Timothy hay. Anytime I give her the orchard grass, it's usually not really any of it's eaten. So it's interesting. Why hello Annie. And you guys will notice I don't have any hanging chew toys for the guinea pigs. I used to back in the day try having hanging chew toys and I just found that with guinea pigs I know there's exceptions but like they'll chew it for like maybe the first day they find it interesting and then after that they're no longer interested and then if you guys didn't know I had some issues with Angus just chewing things obsessively and he got something stuck in his mouth which was really scary so I stopped using them. So they have options still to chew if they want. So everybody has the wood logs, which once in a while you'll hear somebody chewing on those, but even that, not a whole ton. And then I do have the hay boxes when I put those in their cage. Again, it's safe wood to chew, but most people don't chew it. So guinea pigs will wear their front teeth down if they're chewing stuff, but also with their hay and ripping hay and grabbing hay and stuff like that. So they don't have to have a chew toy. They just have to have tons of hay though. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. Because that's a question I get sometimes is people saying you don't have any chew toys for them and they need them for their teeth. Well, if your piggies use chew toys and it's safe for them, then that's awesome. Go for it. I just found a while ago that it wasn't really worth the money replacing them all the time. After they only chewed them for a day and then weren't interested. And then, as I said, for Angus, it scared me. Because he had a piece of, I think it was the grapevine, maybe it was. But it was like an arch shape and it was stuck from one side of his cheek to the other side of his cheek way in the back of his mouth and he could not eat and i had to get a syringe i used the other side of the syringe the plunger side stuck it back in his mouth and pulled 
out this piece of vine. We got it out, but it was terrifying because it was way back in his mouth. So you just have to be careful with some guinea pigs. And of course it happened to Angus because he's a bit of a crazy man. So we're almost done tidying and then I go get veggies and I have to set Pecan off by herself because she can't have any vegetables. And I know to some people that seems sad but she's used to it and if she has any veggies it's severe life-threatening happenings, consequences I guess I could say. We will switch this around to the other side. Bumblebees and otters, that's not going to match. Are you running, Velvie? I can't tell if that was happy running or running for me. I don't get to see very many popcorns with most of my pigs like Angus and Autumn still will but as for everybody else they're getting up there in age okay so let's gotta put them with a little bit of hay hi cuties there you go Okie dokie. I have this sitting up here because that's what I use to lift up velvet if I still want to check to make sure everything's good because as you know or don't know she was spayed along with Reese. So just picking up a pig after they run in here it's so much easier you can just block the sides like this and then pick up the whole thing versus chasing them around. Okay so pecan goes in here This is where she waits. I put a big pile of hay and she just buries herself in there. She doesn't like to be picked up, even though it happens so many times a day. <laughs> You're not getting away. Tubbies, come on. We do this every day. You must have hit a water bottle. Okay, there you go. So she hangs out in there and eats and stuff gonna take off my gloves and we will be ready to go get vegetables. So what I give the guinea pigs besides the tomato is radicchio which is in the container here and pepper. I don't care what color it is I just buy whatever looks the nicest at the time. So today we have yellow bell pepper and I take out the core and the seeds. Uh, nobody likes to eat like the white parts of the stuff they just leave them in the cage anyway and the seeds are just bitter so I just don't feed them they get left on the fleece and I don't like if there's ever a chance they could choke on them I know a lot of people say they won't but I've seen guinea pigs choke on just about everything um, so I take them out because there's no point to me having them in there if there ever could be a possibility of a problem with them that's just my mentality which people if they feed them I'm not saying you can't I just personally don't bother so one pepper I use for everybody so I have the herds pile a pile for Angus and Autumn and two slices for the skinny pig girls and then I give one large leaf per pig so for the pear and for the herd, I just cut it up into small pieces so that they can all share. 
a little easier. So I end up using probably one small radicchio or half of a large radicchio every day. Radicchio can be kind of pricey, but I find it lasts so much longer than buying leaf lettuce. So leaf lettuce, I find it just goes yucky, even in a nice container of water and stored properly, quicker than the radicchio. So this is our veggies. And I only give them veggies in the morning, and this is it. All right, who's hungry? Anybody? I don't hear anything. I don't even know where Annabelle is. Here, Annie. I'll find you. Okie dokie. Where's Mr. Hucky? Oh, there you are. Yeah, just get in there, just bulldoze through. There we go. And as you can see, I speak hands down here. Hello. You're so cute. You hiding in your hay? Well, there's the little lady. You got your pepper there too. We're hiding. So cute. So while they're eating, I usually fill up pellets and water. So we will do that. Most of the waters I filled up last night, but I can see that this one needs to be full. So I like to have water at least half full. If it's anything less than half full, I refill it because that's just my paranoia, especially for these two girls who only have one bottle and they drink a lot since they're skinny pigs, less than half, we refill. So when you put a water bottle back on, you want to make sure that the ball bearing comes up to the front. Because otherwise, your bottle's not going to work properly. You can test it with your finger and make sure that everything's working. So I cleaned out the one pellet dish that Apple put tomato in. So I'm just going to set that back down. Actually, maybe I'll just take it over here, put our pellets in it. So we still are using the Sherwood pellets. I really like to have these. These ones are the All Timothy. So my favorite thing is how much vitamin C are in them because now I don't supplement any vitamin C. And I know that pecan eating these is getting enough vitamin C. And also they're packed with um, a lot of protein, which is really nice because pecan, even though she's senior, has a very nice body weight to her. So that's great. So I only fill up their dish if it's finished because otherwise you can waste pellets. Once you put new ones on top, sometimes they won't eat the other ones. So I just put enough pellets in that they're going to finish in a couple days. So I am going to put a bit more on this one because it's looking pretty ratty. But like for the other guys, for sure, I wait till they finish all of their pellets before I put more. I'm just going to wait to put this down because it's going right where raisin is at the moment. So one other thing that I have to give Butter Pecan is pain meds. So she does get Medicam morning and night, just a low dose because she has arthritis. 
we did try the CBD way and it didn't work so and plus she's on all those other meds that I don't know the interactions between those drugs so we don't do it I still have been giving Apple the urinary support tabs morning and night which I will set one up there for her once she's done that I split some in half for the herd because they don't eat a whole one apple will and usually if I give her one everybody wants one Ugh. they're really hard these ones to split in half sometimes they're way easier than other days sorry other packages so they've got vitamin C in them and there's some what else B vitamins some cranberry magnesium sulfate Ugh, come on okay, that one is not breaking I have a pill cutter somewhere just I think it might be in the laundry room so I really should bring that back out here okay we give up on trying to split that one Do you want one pecan? A little piece? Good girl. Do you want a piece, Belly? Good girl. Pucky, you'll probably eat a whole one, won't you? Apple. There you go, pretty girl. You just let it drop, Ray. to get that piece out of the hay. Oh, I see a piece of radicchio. Here. Here. Somebody. Anybody. Here you go, my prettiest girl. Is it all good? Does it taste like poo? Oh, okay. Was it not a good piece? Is that why you guys left it? So Raisin doesn't want one, so... I'll put it in little Annie's dish. Or do you want that now? Nope, we'll put it in your dish. Are you guys basically done? Pick up... Will somebody eat that? Gotta pick up little scraps that nobody's eating. Surprise! Piggy surprise! How many piggies are there inside? So I just gotta take out all the little teeny scraps that everybody's left before I put pecan back. Because she will find them. So that everything Sometimes I check and then I just put her back in because if there is anything she'll go right to it and then I'll pick it up before she gets it. But I don't see anything. Hello! Up we go pretty girl. Here we are. And I'll put your pile of hay with you. Little pretty little girls. What are you doing? Oh, you have a tomato seed. Who put their dirty mouth on you? Well, it'll fall off. Somebody put tomato on your side. That's what it was. It wasn't from a water bottle. It's tomato. That's gross. You my little sweetie. So it looks like hair gel now. So somebody obviously put their mouth on her with some tomato seed. Now she has a funky hairdo. Was that you, Hucky? Were you doing that? So 
those guys really don't eat a lot of their pepper. They leave them for a while and eat some. And sometimes I just have to throw a little bit out at the end of the day. Not sure why. But they do eat most of it. They're just not the biggest fans. Which is too bad. I'm going to put just a tiny, I know I shouldn't be touching this hay without my glove. Just put a tiny bit more there. And we should be good. And it, we'll wait to see what it's like later. If the sun comes out, we can open the windows. I know it's not ideal. But gloomy, gloomy winter in Canada. So hopefully, um, well usually by end of March it's much nicer so we just have to get through February pretty much and it should be better out it's not nice weather until usually end of April for being able to be outside or open the windows probably May or June we kind of get ripped off here in Canada you two are so cute under there my cutest little girls well, everybody's my cutest. Well, you're not a girl. Okay. Pecan, your hairdo. Who did this to you? <laughs> I love you. You're so cute. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. We've got a lot of laundry to go do. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!